the answer to these three questions. One, how many kids do you have that are going to go to school in this building or have gone to school in this building? Two, have you toured the building itself and seen the pipes underneath the, the gym floor that we're talking about? I'm kind of dull. Can I ask them one, answer them one at a time? Sure. How many kids do you have that have attended school here? Um, can you hear me? Yeah. I think I probably have about as many as Brian Mickelson and the people from the NFCA who are funding the S Committee. Uh, uh, so um, just because the CARE Committee hires some outside assistants on their campaign, I work for them as an employee, my personal convictions, motivations, or involvement in the community uh, are not the issue because I answer to them and they have the involvement in this community. Ultimate message that comes out of this campaign has been approved by the, their the care committee. So I have none, but I don't think the other side's operatives do either. I do have three grandkids that will probably go to this school. Okay. Next question. Okay. So your answer is you have no kids here. Okay. Correct? As is not needed, yes. Okay. Um, I'm also curious, have you toured the building? No, I haven't, and I don't need to. Okay. Because Alan and Clay and the whole bunch of the Ord Care 5 committee and have. So there's certain tasks that I do that I'm hired to do, but the overall schematic and assessment of the situation is the committee's, not mine. <laughs> My third question then, and then I'll sit down. If you haven't toured the building, if you don't have any kids that attend school here, then I guess the last question for me would be if, and for Larry too maybe, if the bottom line is about the check you write at the county clerk office, which granted not to take away from anybody. My father-in-law is a farmer. He writes a check every, every year as well or every twice a year. I as well have a check that's written, as we all do, but if the bottom line is simply about the check that we write, where does the kid's safety come into play? Because we've toured the building and I've been, before you answer that, I've been in the four and a half foot crawl space underneath the old gym floor and I've only lived here four months. And that four and a half foot space underneath the old gym floor, which I won't call it the girls' gym because Title IX would probably come in, ACLU would come in and sue me for that. Uh, that's what I said. It, that's what it used to be. Yeah. So that's why I called it that. Yeah. I think a lot of people out here that have been there and gone to school with me recognize it as that. So I yeah. said that as a point of reference. But that four and a half foot crawl space underneath there also contains the steam pipes that are worn paper thin and the only thing that'll fit through them is a pencil and are due to explode like they did in 1956 but not being from here you may not know that so I just wanted to let you know. Sure let me put that in reference <laughs> kind of re go back and rehash what we've said tonight no one has a problem with making upgrades and improvements to these needed repairs a frame of reference that may help you is um, Kathy Mann, Juan, I forget her last name. She's the head of the Nebraska Fire Marshal's Office NIFA report, the National Fire Incident Reporting System. And she reported to us as far back as their automated records go, which I think was five or six years, there has not been one fire related injury to any civilian in any public school in the state of Nebraska in the last six years. So is the risk there? Yeah. There's things that need to be corrected and upgraded as the care committee wants them to do. Um, but from an insurance standpoint, from an actuarial standpoint, it's a non-risk. But you still do what's right for those kids. And you still make those corrections and, and upgrades that they're supporting. So without my kids in this school, um, do I have a lack of of regard for the safety of children. Um, that's pretty, it's pretty specious on the face of it. I'm here fighting for those kids and their future. And 
the progressive folks are here to bury those future generations in debt. And that's what I'm fighting to help these communities with. Just for the record, I have three kids. I think the question that I, I need to answer is that is the tax I pay the bottom line? No, it's not the bottom line. I said I, the tax, that you, what, what the bottom line is when you go to the courthouse, when you talk about levy and the difference between levy and the... Um, I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. There are two bottom lines. Yes. There's, yeah. There's two bottom lines. On two separate issues. Where do the kids fit in? The kids fit in where I prep, I said this earlier. We need, and I don't know, I think, I think people heard that, where I said CARE 5 agrees we need the safety elements met in the school. We don't disagree with that. I said that right up front, right at the top. I agree. Larry, can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. on? I, I think it'd be fair to those who are asking questions, for those who haven't had a first question answered yet, leave your hand up for a moment, and everybody else who's already asked one, take it down so we can get people who've been patient and haven't asked anything, let them be heard. Once we get done with those, we can go back to everybody else. Guy? Well, we've been late for some time now. The way the school's been closed. Can, can you come up to the microphone? We're having everybody else do it. Now to believe that we that the schools were closed because of the fire marshal's corrective order. Uh, I believe the inspection was in March of 08, and I see this letter uh, signed by Max Kroger, August 24th of 09, that there was a plan at that time to or to correct these these. Deficiencies. Deficiencies, thank you. Uh, with a sprinkler system and putting a door in the cafeteria. What's a sprinkler system cost in comparison to this bond that we're supposed to be considering? St. Paul's been th spending $360,000. Oh. Okay. The question. The question was, what's a sprinkler system cost? We don't have bids for Ford specific. One of the things when we were looking into this, actually it was, we were looking at it before the bond was discussed. Um, Max suggested that St. Paul's buildings were the same as ours um, and they were working on a sprinkler system, a bid on a sprinkler system. Um, they let bids May 6th of 2009. The winning bid was a $200, $200 dollars shy of $400,000. They put a new sprinkler system within the existing school buildings new high school, elementary schools. The project included six inch fire water main and new fire department connections. So that's, that's just, a, that's a cost in, you know, for people to know. I don't know, I know Max told me that their, their building is basically the same. I don't know if we're talking apples to apples or not. Do you have a comment on that, Max? Well, obviously, it isn't the, exactly the same, but it's about it's similar. Okay. And, and I, I have no estimate, you know, other than what the architect gave us. Well, you gave me an estimate in April of 600, and that was from St. Paul's bid. I'm guessing this is probably the same thing. They just actually went to bid, right? Yeah. Okay. The 
Yeah, they haven't even had their 